I wanted to talk to you about aphasia a little more. You know, I promise you we didn't want that to happen in our life. I promise you we would give it anything to make it turn around differently, but we can't. We have to do something about it. There is no cure for aphasia. Not at all. More people affected by aphasia than Parkinson's the d disease. But no one knows what it is. And that needs to change. I started to make a little list about things I think would help. Both the, uh, the people at home, friends, family, and the person affected by aphasia. And I believe it would help. Okay, why so <laughs> talk to them in a quiet, calm manner. Don't get in a hurry. Be patient. Give the person with aphasia a chance to respond. If you know that the person is tired, limit, limit your conversations. I promise you they need a break and you do too. <laughs> Avoid corrective speech. Man, that is, <laughs> it will drive you crazy when you're correcting them all the time. Understand that the abilities of the person may change day to day, sometimes up, sometimes down, but you have to have faith. We want to be treated like an adult. We have our sense of humor, our intellect, we're funny, we're bright. Come on! <laughs> Use yes, no questions. That will help a lot. Be careful when you are talking to a aphasia uh, person. Get their eye contact and you will have a better chance communicating what you want to communicate. And listen, cheer any progress on. Man, we need to celebrate what we're doing well. We need a pat on the back. Right. 
celebrate our victories and you can celebrate them too. Play an important role in our future development. Get involved. You need to make yourself available and stay interested. You can practice too and you make make a difference to the person with the aphasia when you practice and show interest. One little word or group of words means all the difference in word in the world. I can remember calling my mom and so excited because I said this, I love you. And it meant everything in the world to my mom. Stay involved. You can't uh, leave a aphasia uh, person at home all the time. Um, you can't leave then to figure it out on their own. You, you honestly can help. Get involved in other activities. We want to stay involved and have fun. And we didn't lose our spirit so come on let's go have some fun together let's in. it's lonely enough to pressing enough sad enough but you can help you can go to work and read about what you can do. Uh, become a student of aphasia. And might be you can uh, come up with something new, a new learning uh, process, but stay involved. Last, don't quit. Never quit. Patience, we need you. I didn't lose my intellect. I lost my voice, but you need us too. <laughs> I promise, make goals, make goals. Set achievable achievable goals check the progress and celebrate the victories you can do it together last we you need to know we love you too um, I promise you, I know it's frustrating to you. That fact, I can't talk. Um, eight weeks ago, I couldn't talk at all. But get it time. It'll work out. Faith, 
belief. Um, last but not least, we can figure it out together. That's all.